Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have a shift register problem. And suppose we have a 4-bit register that can shift bits either to the left or to the right. If the contents of the register are 0, 1, 1, 1, and we shift bits twice to the right, what is the new content of the register? So that's the question, and the answer is expected in hexadecimal. So as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So to solve this problem, we don't really need to know what the shift register circuit is. Um, we can just take that, that value 0, 1, 1, 1, shift the bits to the right twice, get a certain binary value, and then turn it into hexadecimal. But for completeness, this is what a shift register looks like. So it is the cascaded, um, in this case, they're D-latches, but uh, they're cascaded flip-flops, uh, all sharing the same clock. Uh, here we have a 555 timer uh, doing the, the oscillations. And for this particular one, I actually just wrote down the truth table as well. Um, so in this case, the output Q is high only when the clock uh, is high and the input D is high. So this is a 4-bit register and um, this is what it looks like. But like I mentioned, we don't really need to know what it is or what the circuit is, but rather, you know, how it works and, and how to use it. So here we have the contents 0, 1, 1, 1. And essentially what we're doing is we're going to shift over to the right once. So the right here is the least significant bit. The left here is the most significant bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to shift this 0 over to the right, 1, and then that 1 is going to shift over. And all of these bits are going to shift. And then the last one's going to go all the way to the beginning. So when we shift them all to the right once, we get 1, 0, 1, 1. And then we do it again. We take the first one, move it over. The 0 moves over to the right. The 1 moves over to the right. And the last bit, the, the least significant bit, gets moved all the way to the beginning. And so once you move it twice, you get what? Let's see, 1, 1, 0, 1. And this turns out to be, so that's, uh, this is binary, so 2. That turns out to be 13 decimal. And 13 decimal in hexadecimal is D, 16. So that is our answer. D, or you can write it 0, X, 0 D, another way of writing hexadecimal. So, did you guys get that? Leave me a comment below if you did. And until then, enjoy engineering. 